and let's talk about dead plants because i have a lot of them and uh, so first one do you have a plant like this or recognize a plant like this uh, uh what are we going to do with this one any feedback okay so this is chrysanthemum this has dried out and why i am starting with this is because this is not a kind of plant that you will work with when we are talking about reviving dead plants this is a seasonal plant uh, as we were discussing yesterday and seasonal plants end technically what you should have done or what i should have done is long back and i i would still do that because it's almost may now so it might be a good idea just cut out all the branches and leave it in ground uh later in the season like june july this can start growing again right so that's just one thing i had and i thought and talk about but otherwise let's take this away and we start with this one so firstly we see roots under there what does that mean uh let's think about this but okay first clean your plant in general clean your plant so how do you clean your plant firstly in any dead plant you will have a lot of these dead leaves around remove them because this allows us to check for if it has any infection anything like that because if there is some disease that has killed a plant then we need to first understand the disease or treat the disease otherwise uh no point trying to revive it back without removing the disease first and that's why i like to do a bit of cleaning and just try to understand what's happening with the plant the other thing to do is for this plant i have done almost but uh, uh if there are any leaves on the plant anything we just try to remove whatever can remove easily right so we don't have to so like this one is remaining i don't need to remove it forcefully but whatever is getting removed easily i will remove it okay so that's first thing uh clean the soil area clean the branches and everything don't forcefully remove leaves but if you put your hand through that if you shake it a bit if you find them fall those are the ones we need to take off the fact that i have this leaf attached to it gives me a sign that this plant is going to be revived why the dry leaves the dead leaves are easy to remove a leaf which is living or which is connected uh with the the stem that is not going to we need to do one more thing which is extremely important people ask me how do we know whether it will live or not now i'm making a scratch you don't have to make this big a scratch i'm just making big one because small one is not visible on camera because i'm right Do you see a bit of greenishness there? Right? This essentially indicates that the this trunk is living and that's why we make this cut absolutely at the bottom because if it is not living here then there is no way you are going to revive the plant. So we make a bit of scratch here and just get to see if this is green this plant is going to uh get revived and do much better now in future i hope so right okay now another step to do now before you do anything else is till the soil loosen the soil we loosen the soil at this stage just to know like in this case it's evident the roots are coming out but otherwise we'll till the soil and when we till the soil we also get to know 
if we are hitting roots on the top, that it is time to repot. Right? That's why also it's important to till the soil right now. So this is an order which allows you not to waste energy with a plant where you had to do something else. So we are going to loosen the soil. It would have been better to have a good be Oh. Let's give it one. Okay. So the soil is done. We have looked at the plant. We have scratched it. Where did we scratch it? Okay. We have scratched it. We have loosened the soil. We have cleaned the leaves from the top from here. Now it seems we are ready. Okay. Now I see old nest of wasp here. So I will remove that one. Okay, so now the next thing you have, but we learned about trimming, right? So let's do trimming of the whole thing, trimming or pruning as we learned. Now how I'm going to do is, you will see just like money plant, this will also have nodes, N-O-D-E-S. And when you move your hand over, but do it carefully, you don't want to hurt your skin, something going in your skin. You'll see there are these bumps. And the same way, we have to just take care of them and uh, trim it. So, okay. I'm going to trim really back. Now, what happens when we do pruning? What signal does it give to the plant? We discuss this. is another thing you have to do when you're pruning for uh, regrowth. Now what happened, I, I just made this cut. I'll just show you by making another one. I made this cut and what I see, I see a hollow uh, stalk or stem branch, right? Essentially, that means that this part of the branch is kind of gone. So I'm going to cut that one back even further. Till the point I don't get any greenishness in that. So once you start cutting, you will see that the cross section, the color of the cross section is different in different places and you will see for yourself uh, which one is going to work, which is not going to work. You see, do you see these two different cuts? So this one clearly looks like what a branch should be from inside and this one looks like it has become a wood. So this is a healthy branch that came from here and this one was from here along one. This is kind of dead. So that is what I'm looking for right now when I'm trimming. I'm also paying attention to what I'm getting inside. See again this one goes empty and we Trim back anything that is hollow and uh, uh, non-living, essentially. Also, make one more thing uh, sure that all these small branches, you have to cut each and every branch. 
the more branches you cut like like here these branches look healthy that's why i'm not going to cut off the branch but i'm going to make sure that i cut off each and every small end especially for healthy branches because that is going to get leaves to grow more in uh, every corner i mean every end right okay let me just complete this cutting and then Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so what have we done? First, we started by cleaning the plant. By cleaning, I mean just get rid of everything around the soil on the plant, which are leaves, any loose matter, anything like that. Then secondly, we loosen the soil and just make sure that everything is healthy there. I mean, when you loosen the soil, if the plant falls off. So another thing is sometimes what you'll find is when you loosen the soil in a dead plant, the plant might fall off. And why is that? Because that plant died because of the root system dying before. If the root system rotted, so they were just hanging there by a, uh, some support, but the, there was really no root system as such. So it might fall off and that's okay. I mean, if it doesn't have roots, it's not going to uh, survive anyways. And as you see, trimming is takes a lot of time and that's why I like to keep it for the last. If everything goes right in the order, then I'll do the trimming. Then the thing is, uh, actually before uh, loosening the soil, just scratch the bottom of the bark. Just scratch the bottom of the bark there and make sure that you see some kind of greenery, some kind of greenish sense. That's how you will know that this is a plant worth working on. <coughs> That's how we know that this is alive and it is worth working on and it will get revived. So we clean the plant, we check the bark, we know it is green, we loosen the soil and then what do we do? We try to trim each and every branch. And one thing to note during trimming is any branch which is dead inside and how do you know? Firstly, you'll know, but essentially you don't see any greenishness in the cross section of the cut there is breaking of the branches like once you make a cut that circle is uh, breaking on its own there's a hollowness inside these are all signs that that branch is dead and just cut it back as much as possible and make sure to cut each and every branch on the plot even if just slightly but cut each and every branch especially the healthy ones also you see there's some growth happening, some greenishness here and there. Cut them back. Cut each and every uh, part of the plant back. Now is the time we... <coughs> so now is the time that we have to look at the nutrition for the plant. I put green sticks, uh, as you know. And... Uh, Okay, so one of the probable reason why this plant died anyways might be because we didn't feed it. I mean, like in this case, I know I just stopped watering it. Yeah. So what happened? I had four plants inside and uh, every day while going to office, I would see them and I'm like, yes, I'll come back and I'll water you. Sorry, I forgot to water you because... While I'm getting ready and everything, I just water my other plants. But these ones which were outside, I just forgot to water them at that time. So every day this cycle would continue. And after a certain point, I'm like, listen, mistake, uh, but you know it's our product. Uh, make sure that you put adequate amount of nutrition in your plant. It's, it's extremely important because... There will be no plant growth without feeding it well.
Okay. Put the sticks and this plant is essentially ready. Now the question comes, where should we keep it and how much to water? This is a stage. If your plant has been dried, if you have not been watering it for a long time like me, <clears throat> then it's always best to uh, start putting a bit more water and more regularly. Like if you're going to water it every day, then do water it every day at the same time and uh, keep watering it uh, till you see something happening. One of the worst things to do is try to revive. I mean, one of the mistakes is people try to revive a plant. Everything is going fine. But after five days or 10 days, they just decide for themselves that I think this plant is not going to work out. And I think that is too early. Uh, firstly, look for all signs of growth. Uh, you might not see new leaves, but you might just see small green buds happening at places. What I'm going to do is for this plant, I'm going to keep a track of it and uh, I hope it revives, otherwise it will be a bit embarrassing, but uh, that's okay. <coughs> One more important thing, which I like to do, I don't know whether that is the reason why plant do well, but just like we misted the money plant, for any plant that comes to this condition, I start uh, putting water on their stems like this also. It's just to clean all the dust out and I would do it every second, third day. Uh, this also allows me to basically see the new growth happening faster uh, in the sense of if the plant is clean, then we are going to see any new green buds, any new green uh, small bump also very easily and that's also another idea and uh, okay so this is all done i'm going to put it outdoors because it was a plant for bright light it was ficus uh, called a silver light it was ficus silver light it has amazing leaves it has brilliant leaves. Right now it looks sad, but it's actually an amazing plant. Uh, and uh, yeah. So any questions? Uh, Harpreet says my Tulsi died even though I trimmed it. Uh, for Tulsi, uh, it goes dormant in winters. And that's the wrong thing to assume that it is dead at that time. Uh, how to decide how many green sticks to put, Subita Suhas. It says that at the back of the pack. There's a table at the back of the pack and it just says, depending upon the pot diameter, 6 inch pot, 8 inch pot, 10 inch pot, it... Uh, yeah. So it puts out that table and according to that table, this is an 8 inch pot and that's why I put 4 sticks. Uh, Seema Kapoor, uh, when are we going to repot tomato and lemon? Once you get three to four leaves on the top, you can put it into a new pot. Yes, so Harpi, Dr. Shweta, uh, said the right things about trimming once we trim we tell plant that listen you have to fight for your life probably get ready start doing something maintaining status quo is uh what the nature is really good at uh they say the plant, I mean, in general, I mean, in the rules of energy, it says always go to reverts to the lowest energy state. So essentially what I find is if a plant is not doing well and if it is dormant, now the last thing it wants to do is trying to grow and not even know that if I grow, will I get any resources? Will I get water? I have not got over water for three months. So this plant has probably not got water for three months. And... Uh, it doesn't have any clue. 
So if I was a plant, I would think that, listen, I have this uh, last, and we can understand right now in lockdown. So I have this last amount of some food left and I don't know whether I'll get food from outside for seven days. I have zero clue. Then what should I do? I should just try to survive for as long as possible without needing this food. And that's what the plant is doing. Right? But the moment it starts seeing signs of interactions, it starts getting this trimming, it starts getting water, the nutrition and things like that. All of them together says, okay, it seems that the resources are there. And that's why when I said the regularity is important, it's not that on one day's watering the plant is suddenly going to believe that resources are going to be there. Right? So it's only over days that it finds this thing now is available in abundance. Or this thing now is available readily. That's when it decides to start using it uh, for its growth and everything. Okay. NG Rao says he sent our green sticks and blue sticks to Europe. Thank you so much and thank you so much for the feedback. Uh, he says he loves it. Uh, in my lemongrass plant, mud is fungal. What to do for that? We'll do this tomorrow. Uh, Harpreet Kaur says I placed an order for green stick. Hopefully, we'll get them in May. We are going to send you an update. So I think there are many other people here who might have placed an order and things like that. So I'll give a very short update on that. We are working. We are looking at what the revised announcement from uh, uh, our prime minister implies for uh, e-commerce companies. Uh, there is some mention about after 20th April, there will be some... Uh, um, I would say relaxations in certain areas. So we are exploring if they are courier companies or uh, with all our channel partners on what is the probability. Now the big challenge is every state has different uh, rules right now. So even though we might dispatch, we might have to look at state level uh, regulations. At the same time, we are very uh, uh, aware of the fact that Delhi has a good number of cases of COVID-19 and we are based in Delhi. So if anything right now, what is also very important is to uh, make sure uh, that uh, the impact or uh, the social distancing is maintained and everything like that. So we are just understanding what today's announcement means. And based on that, we will send an uh, email with the update on the dispatch of the uh, orders. Okay, Rohini has a very good question. I am not sure about the amount and frequency of watering is key to ensure. Okay, in general, Rohini, if you're not uh, uh, aware of about watering, we did a video on just watering your plants, how to water your plants well. Yes, the key is to keep the soil water when the top layer is dry. When the soil is dry to touch, that's when you water. That's the key idea. And uh, everything else uh, you can uh, figure out uh, from that video in terms of there are a lot of other things. Do bigger plants need more watering? Again, everything. Uh, you'll put the water so that it starts seeping down. So yes, that's one thing I'm not done here because I don't want to create a mess here. Uh, but I'll take it out and I'll water more. Water this one also thoroughly just as if you might have repotted it. So thank you for that question, Rohini, because I forgot to tell that. When we are watering a plant which we are trying to revive, do water it thoroughly. Water should start coming down from below. Manu says, my Poinsettia leaves have started dropping. What should I do? Uh, this is the time. Uh, you can't do anything. Just put it in outside in bright partial shade. Bright partial shade. That's it. Uh, okay. Manali is asking how to propagate Bougainvillea. We will do a video on this. I am working on a propagation. I will do a video on it. Uh, 
I love this Rashi's replying to Manu. I I, I like uh, people uh, reply to each other. It just feels a uh, uh, very uh, friendly uh, atmosphere. Okay, so this is probably one thing, but because we have talked a lot about sticks today, I'm going to take a moment to talk one thing more about them. But in the meantime, if you have any questions, please leave them here. Uh, I will take them right now. Also, I see 60 people and 8 likes. I mean, uh, in general, likes have something that really help our content to reach out to more people. So do consider that. And tomorrow is going to be a special day. Tomorrow would be our last day to this 21 days of life. And we'll make sure that we do a full recap. But more than recap, uh, because also I think for everyone, some kind of revision is required, uh, including for me myself. Uh, uh, but at the same time, if you might have joined any time in between or something like that, it's a great time to just reconnect. Uh, if you have a live chat, I will go through them and take some of them tomorrow. But one minute. And if you have any questions related to today's session, do that. I have to show you one thing. I thought since it has already become like an ad for green steak, then why not just take it a step forward? I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, in general, I don't talk. So this is the bag we have, right? It says allo on this end. And this is my plant shopping actually. How do I? So I went out and shopped some plants. Do you want to see? It's karela and capsicum. I'm making a video on growing all these. So, yeah. So, what I was saying was, it says allo at this end. Allo. And on this side, it says plant parent by lazy gardener. Now, why I'm showing this is essentially I appreciate and I really uh, understand the fact that you're ordering right now while you will get. You also don't know when you'll get your product. I mean, it can be May 4th. I really hope so. But it can be May 10th also, right? And I wanted to thank you in a manner uh, for supporting us. Because, yes, I mean, the sales right now, Any if you're going to buy the product anyways, then I think it matters to us that people are trusting to buy right now because you know the expenses and all. And that's why we have done two things. Firstly, we thought... To offer a discount to people but what we thought what the need of the hour was uh, we are putting 10% of all our sales uh, from March 24th I think till whatever time the lockdown lasts we are going to put 10% of our, all our sales to uh, Prime Minister Care Fund which has been created for COVID and just as a, our gesture to say thank you for trusting us and helping us out in this time uh, we are adding this back complimentary to all orders when they're shipped. So, actually, this was a bag which. Uh, so, this is actually a second attempt at making a bag. The first one also I have here. The first one we got it done for an event in December. It says Lazy Gardener here. And it says, I'm a green change maker here, Million Gardeners. I love this bag, but not what has came out typed on it. They screwed up the fonts and colors and everything just went for a toss. So for this one, we were very particular. For this one, we were like, this needs to be colored. You need to stitch and make a cross here. You need to do double stitching here. So... If I can learn so much about bags, I mean, I'm sure we have learned a lot about gardening in this time. And thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for coming here. Uh, and even though tomorrow would be the last live session, what we are going to do is we are going to continue putting out a new video every day at 4 p.m. on YouTube. Uh, I think it will be clearer. It will be crisper. It will be maybe 10 to 15 minutes. I will try to keep the length in a manner that if you want to watch very less of it, then also it's fine. But if you want to get into the depth of the topic, you can continue watching and you will enjoy and learn more. 
So that was the idea. Thank you everyone for coming. Uh, the session is essentially over. I will be taking questions. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for coming. And uh, I see a lot of questions here. Lazygardener.in is our website. I mean, uh, just to say so. Yeah. Okay. So thank you, Sutapta. Sutapa Basu, thank you for saying we are doing a great job. Uh, uh, Ritushi says, my babies are addicted to green stick. Please take my question, says Neha Khandelwal. Neha Khandelwal, where is your question? Uh, I can say Sunita. Uh, Manali says, uh, an emoji, it's an like a heart emoji, I can't read it. Deshwata uh, Velen. Okay. Proton likes. Proton likes direct sunlight or shade. Proton put it outdoors in something called semi shade. Actually, this is one of the terms we should discuss tomorrow shade, semi shade, partial shade. Actually, we discussed that yesterday, right? Sun, partial sun, uh, shade indoors. Uh, put it in partial shade. Then also when you get proton home, you have to be careful. There's a wide variety of protons. And some of them will not survive indoors. Some varieties of proton will survive indoors. I'll show you proton. According to theme of the day, this, this is the kind of proton I show you. Do we trim in between the nodes or at the nodes? In between the nodes, always in between the nodes. In between the nodes you trim. But in plant like this, when you're cutting, it doesn't matter. If you just start trimming, it will be in between the nodes. The only time <coughs> you have to look at it is when you're cutting back a big branch, like if this branch I'm cutting back, then I will make sure I'm cutting in between the node. But if I'm cutting like so many of these small ones, I'll just make a small snip and a cut and it doesn't matter. Something is going to work. Something like that. How to propagate? Uh, Okay, Seema Kapoor says, I have reported my peace lily, but the drooping, the leaves are drooping and they have not stood up back. What to do? Water it thoroughly till it starts coming out of drainage hole. This is very essential. Uh, that's the only time you know that the drainage is working for your pot, right? And uh, firstly, do that. And then secondly, wait a couple of more days. So the leaves will stand back up once the roots are able to absorb water. They would be able to absorb water once they get comfortable in the place. And that's why I say, A, water thoroughly. So all parts of the roots are getting water. And uh, yeah. Neelam Singh, how to trim tulsi plant? Just like this. Just go like this. If it is Tulsi, it might actually just look like this also in general. Uh, trim it. Over fertilizer kill plants. How to handle that? Jay is asking. Uh, use something slow release like green sticks. I mean, really, I mean, that's one of the reasons why we have developed when. So it has taken us two years to develop. We have been selling it now for one year. 
the idea was to create something which is easy to use and to your point it should sustain so this we it sustained for 60 days uh why over fertilizers fertilization happens is because people don't know how much to put and where to put and in that sense uh, when you use these sticks uh, you know exactly the number of sticks to use you know the duration gaps after which you have to change it so that's why uh, we have pointed a very correct point that uh, it can happen and it's harmful and with this it would uh, not happen so my plant starts draining water almost immediately is it normal rashi uh, i don't know what you mean immediately by and how big the pot is and how much you are pouring essentially if you see that the water is going through the soil then it is fine if you see the water is going from the gap between the pot and the soil then that is not fine right the water being poured and it going directly down and getting out that means it's a very well drained soil and it will work very well for things like succulents and other things now one question is does it remain the does the soil remain a bit moist which i am guessing it would but still and tarneet koli as as sticks good for vertical garden they are amazing for vertical garden and small plants because in vertical gardens you are not able to climb up and uh, feed them fertilizer every 10 days 15 days right amazing especially also for small plants just one stick for a small plant though uh, and this i have a chili plant and i saw many green mealy bugs on it green mealy bugs or white i paste so many times tell me oh okay i get your point now neha you had written answer my question and now how to deal with mealy bugs what do mealy bugs do mealy bugs just suck out the sap for the from the plant the juice the liquids from the plant one thing to do to deal with mealy bugs is uh, use a mild soap solution put it in spray bottle okay <clears throat> a mild soap solution in spray bottle and just spray in the evening all across the plant and in the morning just spray with a clean water and repeat this every 2 3 days for 2 weeks another thing to do before that is if there is the parts of the plant which are highly infected just cut it remove it wash it with water so that you remove all the visible mealy bugs first and do this away from your other plants you don't want to wash mealy bugs from this plant and put it on to another plant right the biggest challenge with mealy bugs is to tackle the egg situation uh, they have eggs under the leaves and most of the time that gets missed so even when you get rid of the mealy bugs these eggs come back and then they attack the plant again that's why i'm saying you have to repeat it every 2 3 days for 2 weeks that's the idea okay thank you shima kapoor thank you bye dr bhavna rao says please uh, explain about sticks okay so if everyone who is here is interested about six or has questions about six just put it there i think uh, now that we have started talking about it i'll uh, talk about it in just one minute detail there was a lemon seed in my coffee okay so let's start with basics let's start with a very basic thing and we have two uh, sticks one is called green stick and one is called bloom stick green stick is for lush green foliage so anything like this you see or this plant snake plant any plant which has leaves and greenery and you see that they essentially you grow them for their greenery you use green sticks for them bloom stick says for any plant where you need flowering so it might be because you are growing them for flowers or it might be because there's something like chilies like uh neha has and those flowers will become fruits or vegetables later so for anything where you are growing you want the flowers you use bloom sticks now what you essentially do with them is you take out the stick and you put it in a pot you just insert it 
normally uh, i because i was uh, reviving this plant and i had a very bad soil i had to dig it first but normally you can just moisten the soil it will make it soft and then you can insert the stick inside and that works extremely well for plants like money plant zz uh, peperomia singonium green stick right for something like peace lily you would be like bloom stick so what i do is normally just take this this is a 4 inch pot there is a table at the back indicating how many sticks do you need for each pot size so i'm going to take the stick and uh, i'm going to put it inside like this you get it it has actually gone in it has gone in now all i need to do is i need to just water it as i normally would every time you water a small amount of this uh, fertilizer gets dissolved with the water and the plant is also getting those goody goody nutrients from the uh, water every time you are watering so you are increasing the benefits of watering now why it works brilliantly is because couple of things that get really looked <coughs> really neglected is the fact that which is firstly the right balance of the composition why is i have a different one for blooming and green because a different composition different balance is required the balance has to be different and the fact that when we talk about a lot of feed or nutrition or fertilizer for our plants we tend to just put one in everything that essentially means that we are not taking care of the very flowering needs i mean it's a different thing i mean the plant is flowering it's trying to reproduce the needs are different at that time and this one takes care of that the other thing is the right balance and it has micronutrients so just like we need calcium we need iron i mean we are not made of iron but we need iron the same way plant needs some very essential basic thing like so uh, i'll just tell you what it has so it has boron copper manganese zinc molybdenum and iron and all of them play a very important role role like i'll give you an example of uh, molybdenum now molybdenum is extremely important for absorption of phosphorus and phosphorus is exact extremely important for it to flower and develop good roots and for it to get certain colors and things like that so all in all there are a lot of complementary things now you might be putting some phosphorus from something i don't know or people say put x y z thing this kind of shells for calcium and things yes but unless you feed your plant the whole thing it's not going to help right i mean we are not going to eat nails just because deficiency of iron creates anemia and that doesn't mean that okay this person we are going to just feed anemia or oh, oh, iron just it, it's about balance and that's essentially what it is it stays for up to minimum 60 days it continues to feed your plant slowly so it's a slow release it's a balanced food uh it here it says uh essential nutrition hassle free and uh, slow release so the idea is if you go to lazygardener.in i uh, go to any product page actually go to trial pack or beginner pack i also have done a video there which is on how to use this sticks and things like that uh which is there available uh and yeah so i hope uh, that helps and couple of uh, things are if you are on facebook uh you can go to a page called lazygardener.in and you will see a lot of people over time have shared their experience of using the sticks in this chat itself also if you scroll up and down you will find a lot of people and use this and i think it's great for an audience like this because one thing we understand that plants are living beings so sometimes there might be ups and downs but overall i mean this is a fertilizer that i started making for my own parents for my own self and it's only over time that we realized that listen let's try to get things correctly and uh, this is something which is great and it works brilliantly it has been a work of Three years, and uh, it was uh, not easy, to say the least. And right now, it's not easy uh, because we launched 
as a company just last year may 29 so it has been 9 months when the lockdown was announced we have grown to a good team of 15 right now <coughs> the orders going out per day were good and we were <clears throat> automating a lot of things we were looking because i come from a technology background i have another tech company and uh, so that's why we were working a lot on tech we were looking at building a warehouse we were planning to do something big for the community on uh, may 29th we were thinking to do again events uh, across the country and uh, have have these kind of sessions maybe face to face but then the lockdown happens and more importantly a lot of work gets cut down at the same time we want to support our team uh, we want to make sure couple of things a the new products which were in development so there were some products which was actually to be launched today i mean right now i could not i would have been talking about another product and not the sticks which i am really excited about but yes the things happen so but there's still new products that we are working on there are things which i really high and i think there are places when you are not able to put currently plants in water and say what if you want to and things like that so we keep thinking on them we have at any given point at least three to four products in development uh, and so yeah thank you so much not only for coming but for staying and to listening we talk about myself and my company and my products and uh, yeah so this is the bag and i just will show you couple of more things here i got amla i thought why not and when we did haldi i was saying it looks like ginger so this is actually haldi and how do we know it is haldi do you see the color inside okay let me try to okay It's yellow from inside, so this is haldi. Then I have tomatoes, I have karela. Today I got spring onions and uh, I got some chilies. Actually, I had asked him to give me some green chilies when I got this yesterday, and he forgot. Actually, I have a subdivider right. If I go down my stairs, I can just see him ten feet away from me. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Aisha. Thank you, Sutapa. Thank you, N. G. Rao. Thank you, Dr. Shweta. My lemons germinated. Check, check with zero hopes. Wow! So you didn't water your lemon, but it was so forgiving that it still germinated. He gave up hope on water, and he's like, "I'll have to take things in my own hand. Let me get out and see where the water is kept." Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Tomorrow, do join us. Tomorrow would be. a good session it will be a revision session it will cover everything even if you missed anything or even if you attended everything i will make sure that it's value for everyone thank you thank you take care bye bye